Former Chief of Staff to Ambassador John Bolton, Fred Flights, joins us. He is a Senior Vice President at the Center for Security Policy. Fred, great to see you as always. Um, hey, Greg. Happy New Year. You know, if you look at the, the rules and regulations on recusal um, at the Department of Justice, it wasn't mandatory. It wasn't required for Jeff Sessions to recuse himself. Uh, and yet he did to the president's everlasting regret and sometimes anger. Uh, and he's expressing it yet again, isn't he? Well, it's pretty clear the president is very bitter about the decision by Sessions to uh, recuse himself, which kicked off this investigation. But you know what's interesting about some of the president's most outrageous comments? They turn out to be true. I mean, it is absolutely true that Holder and Loretta Lynch stuck up for the president and did everything possible to block any meaningful investigations of the Obama administration. You know, um, I, I wonder to what extent the Mueller investigation is imperiling American-Russian relations. I wrote a column about it, in fact, and let me just put it up on the screen. The longer the special counsel's <coughs> case drags on, the less likely it will be that President Trump and Vladimir Putin can sit down together in earnest to discuss diffusing increasingly dangerous counters in Syria and a myriad of other contentious issues which imperil American-Russian relations. There is legitimate concern in the White House that any friendly or conciliatory overture toward Putin will surely be met by a hostile media predisposed to exploit any U.S.-Russian improvement in relations as incriminating evidence of Trump-Russian collusion, which, however, mistakenly is a subject of Mueller's investigation. Um, former President Mikhail Gorbachev uh, is especially aggrieved about this. He says it is dangerous that these two have not had a summit. What's your take? I think it's ridiculous. The Obama administration's relationship with Russia was absolutely horrible. It's hard to see how it could get worse. The president is right. We have to have a productive, working relationship with Russia. And this idea that President Trump will, would be afraid to pursue such a relationship because the media will be hard on him and will criticize him, well, that's already happening. Yeah. But, but there, trust me, there is a feeling within the White House that, that will, that's what will happen if he decides to have a summit with Putin that the media will be all over them. See, they're pals, collusion. Well, I, I don't know who in the White House thinks that. I don't think the president thinks that. Really? Um, I, I don't doubt that there are some people in the National Security Council, a lot of people in the National Security Council, the president, should, I think, should let go. I think the president knows he has to have a productive relationship with Russia. That doesn't mean overlook Russia's human rights violations and invasion of Ukraine. But it has the largest nuclear arsenal on Earth. We obviously need a productive relationship. Well, a spokesman for Putin said um, that the relationship has now degraded to its worst point in recent memory. Uh, is he right? No, I, I think that our relationship with, with, uh, well, with the Soviet Union was much worse. But the relationship is different here because during the Obama administration, the, the Russians walked all over the United States because Mr. Obama was so weak. I think they'd probably rather have Hillary Clinton or, or Barack Obama in the White House because they could walk all over the United States. They don't like a strong president. They don't like a Republican president who will basically oppose all the things that the Russians would like to do worldwide. But I think the Russians respect President Trump. Including providing arms in Ukraine, which has really angered the Kremlin as well. It, it has. And I mean, boy, if there was collusion between President Trump's campaign and the Russians, why would he do such a thing? Sure. The collusion thing is just such nonsense. Oh, and I'm, totally hoping we'll, I'm hoping we're going to learn that soon from Mueller. Yeah. Well, as I've written before, collusion, except in antitrust, is not a crime. Fred Flights, thanks very much.